This is a review of the North Pole 18 watt waterproof spot LED light bar. It comes with two light bars. Each one has six LED 3 watt bulbs for a total of 18 watts per bar. And the mounting brackets and a hardwired connector cable in the back. The cable is about 15 inches long. And the end of it is uh, just the uh, the bare wires. You're going to have to uh, hardwire this into a power source to get the light to work. It does not come with a cigarette lighter adapter or any kind of wires or switches. It uh, has high quality aluminum housing and stainless steel brackets to prevent rusting and shatterproof lenses. You can mount it to trucks, off-road vehicles, 4x4s, SUVs, mining, boating, farming, heavy equipment, anything where you need extra light and you have a power source. Um, its operating voltage is DC, which means battery, between 10 and 30 volts. Uh, the power it uses is 18 watts. It uses, like I said, 3 watts per bulb, so each one is 18 watts. Uh, the color temperature that it outputs is 6000K. The aluminum is 1320 lumen. And to give you an idea how bright that is, here is a nice chart that shows you the lumen as it compares to a typical incandescent light bulb. So a 75 white watt light bulb is 1100 lumen. This light bar is 1320 lumen. So it's a little bit brighter than a 75 watt light bulb. A 100 watt light bulb is 1600 lumen. Again, this light bar is 1320. So the light output by each bar is somewhere between a 75 watt and a 100 watt light bulb. If you want to look at 40 watt light bulbs, 14, uh, 450 lumen, three of those, three 40 watt light bulbs, will put out the light output, the brightness of this light bar, which puts out 1320 lumen. The lifespan is 30,000 hours. It's waterproof rated at IP67. And IP67 means the IP stands for ingress protection. The 6 is totally protected against dust, and the 7 signifies it's protected against immersion between 15 centimeters and 1 meter. It uses PMMA. The, the lens has PMMA. And what that stands for is polymethylmethylcrylate. <laughs> Try saying that three times fast. Polymethylmethylcrylate. Also known as acrylic or acrylic glass. It goes by other names of plexiglass, acrylite, lucite, or perspex. And what it is is a transparent thermoplastic. It's often used in sheet form as a lightweight, uh, shatter resistant alternative to glass. It's an alternative to polycarbonate uh, when extreme strength is not necessary. It's often used, and we're, again, we're talking about the lens, the, uh, the lens covering over the light bulbs. Um, it's often used because of its moderate properties, easily handling, and low cost. It's more prone to scratching than conventional and organic glass, but modified PMMA is sometimes able to achieve high scratch and impact resistance. There's nothing that indicates this is modified PMMA. Just a PMMA polymethyl polymethyl methacrylate lens. Anyway, there's the lens. <laughs> it's supposed to be shatter resistant. Um, again, the casing is dyed hard aluminum. And let's look at the dimensions of these suckers. Let's get the mounting soft, uh, brackets out of here. It is. Six and a quarter inches long. It's one and three quarter inches high. The depth of it, not counting the cord, is two and a quarter inches front to back. The weight of this, 
turn on my trusty dusty little scale here. Put the cord on so it measures so everything. The, the lens and the cord, I mean the light and the cord weighs 12 and 3 quarter ounces. That doesn't count the weight of the brackets. The brackets get attached to the back right here and I'll put one on to show you how easy it is. Install a little bit of the mounting hardware. You put the big bolt through the bracket and put the washer on and the nut on. Uh, when you mount this to a vehicle or anything, of course, you're going to have to put, you know, drill a hole or have a hole available that this bolt fits through and the washer and the nut fit on one side of the material and the head of the bolt fits on the other side and it tightens it to your vehicle. This bracket that comes with it, it's kind of tricky to put on. You get a couple of little nuts here, like so, that fit into this little opening right here. And then there's a bolt that uses a heck wrench, hex wrench that comes with it that you slide it in here, put it into the bolt, and tighten it. However, the nut spins as you try to tighten it, as you can see there. So you're going to have to get a wrench or something to stop that from tightening in. And it only came with one of these little hex head bolts. Uh, even though you got two nuts, one for each side, you didn't get two bolts, one to go in on the other side. So I'm going to write the company and see what the deal with that is. But it needs another bolt for this side to tighten it, but it only came with one. So that's, that's the mounting hardware on there. Again, it doesn't come with a longer cord or a switch or anything to easily connect it to a power source. You have to hardwire it to something. So as soon as it gets dark, we're going to hardwire it to a power source and we're going to go outside and fire this puppy up to see how much light it actually puts out. It does come with a 24 month warranty and 24 hour email customer support. Car is lit up. Again, it puts in just uh, 1365 lumens. Um, the camera's not picking up the light as well as it should be, but my, with my visual eyes, I, with my visible eye, I could see that tree really lit up well with the uh, green leaves. Same thing over there. That wall is about 25 feet in front of where the light source is. Again, it's about the same brightness as three 40 watt light bulbs. And this is just one light bar. Two light bars would, bars would have uh, six, the equivalent of six 40 watt light bulbs. But with the naked eye, I can see pretty well with this spotlight. The camera's not picking it up nearly as good as uh, I can see with my eye. That's what it looks, the brightness of it. All six light bulbs lit up. Let's change the perspective here. There's a column right in front. So that's what it looks like. The column is five feet away from me. And a lot of this has to do with the camera. It's ability to see in the dark as well too. But I could see a lot better with my naked eye than the camera showing that's lit up, lit up with the uh, with the spotlight. I would say with my naked eye, this lights up a good 75 feet. I can see really well about 75 feet out in the distance. Okay, as I mentioned earlier in the video, my original package only came with one of these uh, bolts right here and you actually need two one for each side of this bracket that attaches to the housing unit I contacted the company and they immediately sent me replacement packages of hardware they sent me two packages the replacement packages contain the right amount of nuts and bolts so I was very pleased that their customer service was really receptive and shipped out free of charge the replacement packages for the hardware this North Pole 18 watt waterproof spotlight LED bar light is pretty good. It seems pretty rugged, 
the aluminum housing seems really um, durable. The hardware, once you get all the right bolts and stuff, easily connects to the housing unit so you can, it can connect it to your vehicle. Again, it, you need to hardwire it to a power source. You're going to need to buy some type of wiring harness that will have wires that connect to your power source and to a switch and then to the lighting unit itself. So that's the only thing I find lacking in this thing. I think it should have maybe came with some wiring uh, switch or power source connector or something, but it didn't. But if you're at the least bit mechanical, you can easily get a wiring harness and hook it up yourself. So it provides uh, 1,320 lumens, and the lifespan is 30. 30,000 hours for the LED lights. So all in all, it's a pretty good little device. It's inexpensive and uh, easy to install and should provide enough light for you for um, your activities at night with a power source. So if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. If you like this review on YouTube, do the thumbs up. If you're watching it on Amazon, click below that says this review helped me. You found this review helpful. Bye!